Deepest search of validity, validate enemies, fabricate tendencies, allocate penalties, acclimate differently, kill my identity, fuck at my enemy, tentatively nose dive in dependency, popping no anything, fucking no anything, blame my heredity, excuses for everything, claiming I didn't see, hope you ain't noticed me when I... All right, y'all, so I'm about to just speed up this intro, as you can see here, because, listen, y'all, I had just woke up from a nap. Y'all see that makeup on my freaking collar? Your girl was down bad. And I had, like, a piece of lint on my lip this whole time, so I was like, listen, I'm not even about to let them see me in regular speed right now so yeah just disregard that makeup because i obviously was sleeping real wild and obviously out of my mind to go to sleep with makeup on my face and a white shirt on in my defense so it was a nap i was on my couch but still anyway today i'm going to be showing you guys me setting up this hydroponic garden system that serena got me and so yeah i'm about to just do a voiceover this whole video basically okay so here is the system I had actually already set this up like two days before, but I didn't realize it didn't have seeds. And so that's why you see that there's already like a little bit of water and stuff in it because I had tried to already do it, but then I realized I needed to go buy some seeds. So I'm just showing you guys like what it looks like and everything right now. Um, these are the lights and before it was like the power buttons and everything. So these are the seeds that I got. Um, I went to Home Depot and just picked up some easy, you know herbs and little like vegetables this is me lifting up the stand it actually is supposed to go up to like 14 inches but the time when i was doing this i couldn't figure it out um so I, I only have it up for like seven inches but it actually goes up like twice as high and i'm just showing you guys some of the instructions and everything and i had just plugged it in there's like a little plug in the back which is what i showed you guys previously and these are just some of the things it comes with um inside of the box and I will explain those later except for those those are some rods you won't see those again in this video so yeah and then this is the cover that all the pods are gonna go into you get seven pods um, to use for this system so basically I'm just showing you guys some of the instructions uh, because we are about to start adding the water into the garden system so as you see I just have a cup here and you're supposed to fill up to that line it's not supposed to go up further than that and so you're gonna see me fill this up just below the line um, I'm gonna fill it up some more later in the video but I'm just gonna get it like just below the line until I add in you know the pods and stuff so for this, you're supposed to add 25 milliliters of plant A food and 25 milliliters of plant B food. So the cap is 15 milliliters. So you're gonna see me add 15 and then I'm gonna add 10 to get the full 25. And you're just gonna do that for both plant A food and plant B food. Um, both of these plant foods, they actually originally came with like tablets in the inside of those bottles and then you're supposed to add water to the bottles and shake them up until the tablets dissolve. So it doesn't come as a liquid already. You have to make it into the liquid, but it's really easy. Okay, so I'm taking out the sponges. It comes with like 14 sponges, but of course you can only use seven at a time since that's how many pods there are. So I'm just showing you like these little tags. They're so cute. And the little baskets that it comes with. And then I think the first thing I took out was some plastic covers that are gonna go over the baskets once they're um, inside of that, that cover. So I'm showing you guys the sponge. As you see, there's a little hole there. That's where the seeds are gonna go. The sponges look kind of small, but um, they're gonna get bigger like once they are put into the water. So don't be freaked out by like how small they look right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of these into their baskets. All right, so it's time to do our seeds, you guys. Um, I'm just gonna cut open the little packet and it says that you're supposed to put three to four seeds in each pod. These are the sage seeds. Look how tiny they are. Honestly, I never really thought about like where the seeds come from for herbs because it's like you don't really see them, I guess, when you buy them at the store, you know? But anyway, so I'm just like labeling each of these tags so that way I don't get any of these mixed up when I put the seeds inside of them. And so that's what I'm doing here. Um, I am gonna end up 
changing two of these because you're gonna see in a second, I think I show it on video, where I hold up the green beans and the pea packets. And I'm trying to show you how thick each of the packets are because the beans are actually very big. They're not like small seeds, you know, not like the herbs. So I had to, you know, decide not to plant those because they're not gonna even fit inside of the sponge where that hole is. So we aren't doing those. I decided that I'm gonna do two cilantros and two peppers instead. So those are gonna be the two duplicates that you guys are gonna see later on in the video. So just keep that in mind when you are buying your seeds for this system, do not get any seeds that are really big. All right, so I'm showing you guys all of my pods, all seven of them, and they do have the seeds inside. And I'm just gonna be um, placing them inside of, you know, once I put the cover onto the actual system, I'm gonna start placing the pods in the inside. Right now, you just see me putting these little plastic covers on top. So basically, once like the whole system is hooked up and those have set in the water for a while, you'll start seeing kind of some condensation inside of those little like plastic covers so i guess it's supposed to just to, like help trap like the heat and stuff in the inside to help you know the plants germinate and all of that so that's the purpose of the plastic covers and they do have little spots in um that pod cover and i just stuck the signs in there i'm not really sure if that's where the signs are supposed to go but i just assume that that's where they're supposed to go because why else would those holes be there like what else am i supposed to put there and it didn't say in the instructions if you're supposed to put the signs there. So I just, you know, that's what I did. But you can do that too. I wanted to come on here and kind of explain the um, different things I planted and just in case you all want to try to like plant these same things as well or get the same little grow system. I did two of the peppers. I did two of the cilantros because I use a lot of cilantro and cilantro is one of those herbs that like I always buy at the store and then <laughs> I use it a lot and then I end up like running out of stuff to use it for and then it just sits in there and then like goes bad and so I was like let me just go ahead and get the cilantro because at least if it if I grow my own cilantro I don't have to buy any from the store and two when you're buying or when you're uh when you grow herbs and stuff you can just like snip them and they'll grow back like where you snip them at so it's like okay I can just use it as I need it um, and then I did two pepper pods because this actually says it's a pepper hot mix and then it shows like all these different peppers. So I assume that that meant that like it, it, these could literally be any of these. So I decided to do two pepper uh, pods because I don't really know which exact pepper each of these seeds are because they literally all look the same. So I figured, let me just do two. That way, if one of them grow, ends up growing to be one type of pepper, then maybe the other one will grow to be one of these other types of peppers. Or maybe, I don't, like I said, I don't know about the seeds. So maybe I'll get lucky and like, maybe I'll get four different types of peppers growing, you know, cause it told, it told me to put three to four seeds. I'm assuming because all of the seeds may not germinate. So it's just trying to give you a chance to at least get like one that's gonna germinate. So 
hopefully I'll get lucky and at least two from each pod will germinate and maybe they'll be like each all four of them hopefully will be like different peppers I don't know so that's what I did now these say technically um you really should have already planted these types of things if you were planting them outside but since we're doing it indoors and we're doing it with like the garden system i think it really doesn't matter when you plant them but these the sage says that it takes um let's see 10 to 20 days to germinate so i think that just means for it to like okay for it to just like sprout and then it says 70 days to harvest tomatillo tomatillo says it takes seven to ten days to germinate and it's going to take 75 days to be able to harvest i have a feeling once these start growing i'll just have to have them like hanging over the edges you know because they're going to end up reaching the top of the light and let's see these the parsley says it takes 21 to 28 days to germinate and then it's going to take 75 days to grow to be able to harvest it um the cilantro takes 7 to 10 days to germinate and 70 70 days to harvest and then the peppers it says 10 to 12 days to germinate 70 to 80 days to harvest because you know it's different peppers so this actually explains more about the pepper so this says it's a colorful and spicy mixture of five favorite hot pepper varieties ranging in intensity from mild to red hot this blend includes anaheim cayenne jalapeno santa fe grande and serrano tempequino tempequino a great way to sample different types of peppers okay first of all i have no idea which one of these is which i know what a jalapeno looks like but i don't know what this skinny orange one is so once they start growing i'm gonna probably have to google which one of these peppers is each thing depending on which one grows but that's really cool five different ones okay that's cool because i don't even know if i've ever had a I don't even know if I've had any of these other peppers besides a uh, jalapeno. Cayenne pepper, I've had the powdered version obviously, but I've never had the like actual pepper, I don't think. Um, Anaheim pepper, I don't know if I've ever had that. I've never seen it in the store, so probably not. Santa Fe Grande, yeah, so I'm really excited about this one. I really want to see like what they're gonna turn out to be so that's gonna be really cool i'm super super happy with this like i said serena got me this for um christmas and oh she also got me this phone case because i wanted a new phone case so i will keep you guys updated with how things go with that hopefully it goes really good uh i don't know we'll see it's obviously not christmas it's December 12th so I did not wait to open this um, but you know you can do that when you're an adult when you're an adult you can open your Christmas presents at any time you're not a kid you know I, I wanted to go ahead and get these started like as soon as possible because I wanted them to basically go ahead and start growing before the new year so yeah let me go ahead and close this out because I'm really just honestly talking nonsense so thank you all for watching this video sorry it took me so long to upload a new video since the last one i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you actually try to get this because there's a whole bunch of them on amazon um just type in hydroponic garden system or something like that this one is the i, I think it's pronounced edu or it might be i do like i d o o but there was a whole bunch of other like brands on there that you could get. I picked this one just because the reviews seemed like it had a lot of reviews. This one and another one that was like white had a whole bunch of reviews. And so I probably would get one of those if I were you. Um, and if you get one, let me know. I would love to see, you know, y'all tag me or something on Instagram. If y'all decide to get one of these and y'all like plant your stuff and y'all post it like tag me because i would love to see it i want to see us all grow our own stuff because 
I don't have a house. Obviously, I live in an apartment. But if I did have a house, one of my dreams is to have my own garden. And so this is like the closest thing I can do. I've actually considered doing one of those like balcony gardens, but um, that's going to take a little bit of planning to do. So this is kind of like an easier thing for me, especially because I know I'm going to be going on a trip and stuff. And so like this, I don't have to do anything with it. Like the light will come on and off when it's supposed to because it's going to stay on, I think, for 14 hours and then it'll turn off for eight hours, I think, and then turn back on. So it does all that by itself. You really don't have to do anything. You just literally let it sit there and grow. So this will be really good for you if you want to try it and you're somebody who like travels a lot and you're not really like home and all that type of stuff compared to like if you had an actual plant, you got to sit there and like water the plant and everything. This is pretty good. As long as you change out the water once it like goes away, you should be good. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment, turn on my post notifications, follow me on all my social media pages, which are going to be coming up right after this. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.